Okay, so I think we are now live, yep. Uh, so hello um, and welcome to this 30 minute workshop. My name is Sophie and I'm going to be leading you through um, a 30 minute, oh hang on, I think my speakers. Yeah, sorry if you couldn't hear me then. So we're going to be doing a 30 minute workshop which includes yoga, meditation and journaling. And this is going to help us to manifest during this new moon in Taurus. So equipment wise, all you're going to need, um, if you've got a yoga mat, that would be great. We're only going to do about a couple of yin yoga poses later on. Um, if you're not sure what they are, I'll explain that later. Um, but if you have uh, got something comfortable to lie on or a yoga mat, a pillow preferably to sit on for med in meditation so that you're comfortable. Um, and also um, you want a pillow for when we're doing yin yoga as well. So, sorry, I don't think my mic is working. should be able to hear me better now. Is anybody there that can hear me? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I don't know which bit that you just heard. Uh, so basically just equipment wise, uh, grab a mat, some pillows and pen and paper because we're gonna do some journaling as well. So this is streaming live on the Whole Health Project, but it will be available to watch afterwards if you want to. Um, but I would suggest watching it in the next couple of days because then we move out of the new moon phase and um, this manifesting process is more powerful when the new, new moon is at its highest energy. Um, and also this is donation based. So if you did wanna donate, my PayPal link is in the video above. Uh, but if that's not feasible, then please don't worry and enjoy this gift and maybe just leave a comment to say that you're enjoying it. Okay, so we'll get started. So what is a lunar cycle? A lunar cycle is when the moon orbits the Earth and it takes 28 days to do this. And as it orbits the Earth, it moves through eight different phases. So we're only going to concentrate on two of those phases. And today, particularly the new moon, because that's where we are in um, the lunar cycle at the moment. So the two high points, talking about the new moon and the full moon, the differences are at the new moon, it's the start of the cycle. So the energies are higher. And this is when we start to manifest. Um, it's a new beginning, a fresh start. Whereas the full moon, which happens roughly two weeks after, the energies are starting to fall away. And this is when we learn to let go, uh, forgive ourselves or forgive other people and let go of toxic relationships. Um, so they both work hand in hand. So if you really, really want to manifest using the lunar cycle and get in tune with the moon cycle, then you're best working with um, both at their points in the cycle. So I'm gonna touch more on the new moon because that's where we are at the moment. So the new moon, it happens when the moon is in between the sun and the earth. So the unilluminated side is facing the earth, which is why we can't see it. So it's also often referred to as a dark moon as well. Um, and so becoming aware of the energies at this time will start to become in a flow. Uh, we'll start to learn the rhythms and the flow of the moon and just life should start to flow a little bit easier. So that's the main reasons why we become aware of the lunar cycle. And the new moon is in Taurus. So what does that mean when it's in a specific zodiac sign? It doesn't mean that if your horoscope is Taurus, then that's only going to affect you right now. It affects everybody because each new moon has a different zodiac sign. So this month is Taurus. So what does that mean for us? So it kind of flavors the new moon. And obviously Taurus is an earth sign. So at this point we want to feel really grounded and stable. 
and um, we kind of want to listen to the energies. So uh, Taurus is also very patient um, and it reminds us to persevere as well. So we can take those qualities on board or if we're struggling with those qualities at the moment, then it reminds us to connect again and maybe we want to manifest later on to be more patient or to be um, you know, more stable, more grounded. Um, but the other side that Taurus also offers is um, the money side. So this is a great time to manifest money. Money is not a dirty word. So if you think that money is dirty and that you shouldn't be wishing for things or possessions, that's simply not true. As long as you are generous and you know, you're clear with what you want um, and it's believable as well, um, then you are able to manifest. So possessions, money, property, they're all great things to focus on at this new moon. So it kind of, why should we focus on these? Because the moon is telling us it's in that energy, in that Taurus energy, then it's gonna kind of supercharge our wishes, our goals, our manifestations. So that's why we kind of wanna keep in tune with the zodiac signs and not just ignore that. So keeping all that in mind, the reason I'm doing a meditation is um, to help manifest, one of the key points is to become really relaxed and clear about what you want. Um, some of the basic principles of manifesting, you want to think about what you do want, so not what you don't want. So it all has to be really positive. Don't say, I, um, I don't want to uh, lose this. You, I want to gain, you know? So it's got to be really positive and it's got to be really clear and heartfelt. So we're gonna do a quick meditation um, and I'm gonna guide you through it. So just check that you're comfortable and just begin to relax your hands on your legs, feel your shoulders heavy, begin to close the eyes and just begin to tune into the body Noticing the breath. Noticing where you feel the breath. Is it in through the nose or through the mouth? Do you breathe more into the chest or the belly? And notice the pace of the breath. Is it quick or slow? Does it feel quite tense or are you quite already relaxed? Not judging, just becoming aware of yourself in this present moment. That's what Taurus is all about, becoming aware and being present. So we're gonna to begin to slow the breathing down. So if you can, breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. So really trying to slow down the breath. And if you find that your mind keeps wandering off, then this is completely normal. So again, without judgment, bring yourself back. A great way to focus the mind is to count the in-breath. So count in for maybe three, and then you wanna match the out-breath for the same count. And as you carry on to do this, either counting the breath or slowing the breath down, allow the body to relax and get heavier with each breath. Notice if you're tensing up your arm, allow them to let go. And now just remembering that the new moon is a fresh start, a new beginning. We don't have to wait to the beginning of each year to start afresh. We can do it each and every month. So just really feeling, keeping the chest open. 
and feeling the qualities of Taurus, so feeling the stability, feeling grounded. And to help us feel grounded, coming away from the breath now, just notice where you feel your body touching the ground, the mat or the pillow. And just notice that you're supported. And you can relax knowing that you're supported. And now just picture some energy, so a light. So Taurus is also linked with the heart chakra. So this is a green energy. So the heart chakra is found in the middle of the chest. So just really visualize this color green in the middle of the chest and it's circling like the chakra energies do. Just really try to visualize this movement. And you notice as you start to concentrate and visualize this green color and this heart chakra that the green light starts to get bigger and bigger. And keep going, allowing this green light to get bigger and bigger. And to make a circle all around you. So you're supported within this heart chakra. Notice any feelings that come up. Maybe you feel warm. Maybe you feel more stable, more patient. And as we begin to open this heart chakra, it is here that we can really, really feel what we want. So maybe bringing one hand to your heart and one hand to your tummy. Just sit in here a moment and asking yourself the question, what do I want to manifest? So it could be that you want to manifest enough money to be able to buy some furniture that you wanted to treat yourself to. It could be you want enough money to feel stable. It could be that you've uh, not got a job at the moment. so. You want a job opportunity to come up. It could be anything, but you've got to really feel it in the heart center. This is the most important thing about manifesting, really feeling it at the heart. And don't worry if nothing's come up for you yet, just keep sitting with it. Again, focusing on the breathing and the green light getting bigger with each time we breathe in and out. And now just allow the green chakra to come back in. So as we breathe in, it starts to spin back into the heart center. We want our heart chakra to stay open but we don't want it to be so big that it's overwhelming with emotion. So bring it back to the heart center, still just picturing, visualizing and feeling the green chakra at the heart center. And then begin to come back into the room by noticing any sounds that you hear. And begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, bringing some movement into the body. And when you're ready, just gently begin to open the eyes back open. So, I hope you enjoyed that meditation. That is just really to get us comfortable and clear what our heart feels with these manifestations. If we just think of something and don't put much effort to it, you're not going to manifest. 
So this is a really great way to open up the heart chakra, visualize and really feel um, what we manifest. So if you've got your pen and paper near you, you wanna grab that because we're gonna be doing a bit of journaling. So before um, I ask you the journaling questions, again, I'm gonna remind you, you want to think about what you do want, not what you don't want. And you want to be really clear. The more specific that you can be, the better the outcome. And you wanna take baby steps. So say if your goal is, I want to own a house, but at the moment you've not got a job, so you've got no income. Is it really believable that you're just gonna get a house like that? No, so you want to, if it's believable for you, then please, please go for it. But for me, that wouldn't be believable. So the doubts in my mind will stop it from manifesting. So for me, I would want to manifest that job first. So that's kind of how it works, baby steps. So, um, grabbing your pen and paper if you haven't got it already. So I want you to write uh, up to five things that you want to manifest. So this can be anything. So like I said, Taurus, um, the qualities of Taurus are patience, stability, grounding, perseverance. So if you feel like you've not got any of these, you can manifest these. So those could be your manifestations. Or maybe because Taurus, we are in possessions, money, property, it could be any of those as well. So I'm just gonna give you a few minutes to journal. And I'm gonna do that with you. And also once you've wrote one, you want to really feel it like it's already happened. This is the second most important thing about manifesting. So the first is to really feel it in your heart, but the second is to visualize like it's already happened. So if I was to manifest, um, I would like um, a job opportunity. So what would it feel like? How would I feel if I got that um, interview? And in the interview, um, I got the job offer. How would that feel? What would your life look like now that you've got that job? What would you be able to do with that money? How would you feel? How would you dress? Really thinking about these and visualizing them. Um, and a great way to visualize is a lot of people don't like writing and they like doing doodles or drawings. That's a great way to visualize. Um, so it could you draw yourself in a suit and that's helping you visualize um, yourself in that work gear. So whatever works for you, this is really your own practice. I'm just guiding you through my own personal practice, which I do. So if there's anything that you think, oh, actually, I'd like to do that, then please feel free. You know, be guided by your heart chakra. So just a few more minutes to write down the rest of your manifestations. So up to five if you can, and try and make them specific. Okay, and if you are already done, again, just rereading them, really feeling them. The more that you can feel and visualize, um, for example, in athletics, a lot of people do this. So they do a visualization of them running the race and winning the race. And it has been proven that a lot of them, because they're having these positive thoughts and they feel it in the body going through their nervous system, they really do run a great race and often win. So that's kind of the concept that we're using here. So I hope that you've finished those um, manifestations. The next journal, you can come back to it as well after, I'm just conscious about getting through. So the next question that I want to ask is, do you believe you're worthy of your wishes or your manifestations or your goals, if you don't want to call them wishes? 
Because if you don't feel you're worthy of a job, you're not going to get that job because you're putting negative vibes out there and you don't feel it in yourself. You're not going to appear to others as, the, as such a great person that you are. So Taurus, um, around this time, is often um, it's kind of linked with luxury, but self-care. So after this um, class, this workshop, if you can do something for yourself to make you feel good, whether that's run a bath with some nice salts and candles, um, a massage if you're lucky enough to be not on your own at this time, um, so really something that's quite sensual, luxurious, that makes you feel good. And if you still don't believe that you're worthy of your wishes, then maybe that should be one of your manifestations, that you want to build your self-confidence um, and you want to be, you know, you want to feel worthy because that is the main thing about manifesting. So that is the main point that I would say. Feel worthy of your wishes. You deserve it. You really do. So just finish off with that question. So do you feel you're worthy? And if you don't feel you're worthy, what could you do to make yourself feel worthy? So whether that's doing a bit of yoga, eating healthier, it could be something really little, maybe saying affirmations, um, really anything that you think of. So just a couple more minutes to do that. So just as you're finishing off, the last um, section of our manifesting is yoga. So we're going to get a slight movement into the body, but it's restorative yin yoga. The new moon is a very yin time, whereas the full moon is a yang time. So yin is relaxing and really softening the body. Yang is like energy, um, so like a vinyasa type yoga. So. Make sure you've got pillows uh, by the side of you. We're just going to do two yin poses. And again, these are focusing on the heart. So they're opening up the heart poses, opening up the heart chakra. So we're going to move into those poses now. So our first one is going to be reclined butterfly. So if you... Um, have a pillow, hopefully a long pillow. This is a proper yoga pillow, but don't worry, you don't. If you've got um, pillows off the sofa, maybe make them a bit longer because we're going to be supporting our backs. So you want to come into the butterfly position, which is soles of your feet touching. And the, to make it easier, you can have them further away, but if you're quite flexible here, then bring them closer towards your body. Place the pillow at the lower back of your spine, down by your pelvis, and you're just gonna look, slowly support yourself. I'll move forward a little bit. Slowly support yourself back down, and you may need another pillow on top here. You really want to relax, so you're being supported by the pillow, by the ground, let the legs um, relax open. If this is too intense with the legs, you can also bring some pillows underneath the legs as well so there's not too much pressure on the hips so you want to lie down here relaxing the shoulders let the arms feel heavy allow the head to feel heavy and again come back to the breath noticing where you feel the breath coming from the pace of the breath Again, we want to start slowing down the breathing. So taking a big inhale in through the nose and exhale out through the nose. And again, if you notice that your mind wanders, that is completely normal. It does it to me about a hundred times a minute. So just remember to not judge yourself and actually congratulate yourself for noticing that your mind has wandered and bring your attention back. And 
carrying on with the breathing, but this time with each exhale, allow the body to soften a little deeper. This should be a nice relaxing pose, should be no strain. And now I'm going to invite you into some silence. So often silence can be quite uncomfortable, but just keep relaxing, focusing on the breath. And if your mind starts to wonder, bring it back to the breath, back to any sensations in the body. Slowly bring your awareness back to the room, back to any sounds, moving your fingers and your toes. And just gently move the legs so you may need to help the legs rolling onto your side. And actually, I think we're running out of time. So the last pose we're gonna do is lying on our back in Shavasana. So coming onto your backs, so lying on, comfortably on the ground. And the last bit we're gonna do is really, again, feel and visualize um, um, what we're manifesting um, and what our goals are and our self-love, that we're worthy of our wishes. So really coming down to center, remember rooting and grounding down to the earth, closing the eyes, have the legs and arms apart, And again, just notice how you feel after that pose that we've just done. There's no right or wrong answer. And now begin to work through your goals that you wrote down. And really begin to feel how you would feel if you accomplished them. Feeling them as if they've already happened. And I invite you to stay here for as long as possible, really manifesting and feeling your wishes in this new moon, this new beginning, this new start. So you can stay here I'm just going to say thank you so much for joining me um, in this workshop. This is my own personal practice and um, so I just wanted to share it with you so please let me know what you think and if you would like to see any more similar workshops I was thinking of doing a full moon workshop which works well with the manifesting process uh, roughly in about two weeks time so if you do want that workshop uh, let me know in the comments below. But thank you so much for joining on the Whole Health Project. And remember, this will be available for you to watch um, on another time if you're not watching live.
so thank you so much everybody sorry for the technical glitches at the beginning with the microphone i couldn't get it to work thank you bye